Who is it? It's Jack. Janet. Come on, open the door, please. What are you doing here? I want to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, come on, just for a minute? I don't want to see you. Go away. I'm not going anywhere until you open this door. Well, then you can stand out there all day. Oh. Look, I understand. I understand that you're upset. And if it's any consolation, you know, I didn't get any sleep last night. Please, please, just let me try to explain. Write me a letter. Oh, Janet, come on, open the door. Please, just leave me alone. Fine. Fine, I'm going. I promise I won't bother you again. Wait. Thank you. We don't have a lot of time to talk right now. Can we do this in a couple days? What happened? Nothing, I'm just really busy. It looks worse than it is. It's all my fault. Why? You had nothing to do with this. Oh, come on, Janet. Once is unfortunate. Twice. It's a bit of a pattern. You think this happened because you... Listen, I, I, I am not judging you for wanting to get out and meet somebody new. I'm just sorry it had to be the kind of scum that would do something like this. Don't worry, Jack. It's not your fault. You know me. I just love me them bad boys. Wait a second. What? Mm. You know, as a matter of fact, after I think about it, you're not really my type after all. You're too good and self-righteous. No wonder Carly had such a problem with you. She was always drowning in rules and regulations. Wait a second here. Wait. You're just too good for the world, Jack. None of us can handle the pressure. Janet. Apology accepted. Now go. This is just how it is. Hey, oh, <laughs> you look as good as I feel. You flying solo this morning? Yeah. Janet has the day off, and my other waitress is sick. So it's just me until Vienna gets here after a seaweed wrap. Oh. What do you mean, oh, you never tried it? I spoke with Janet. I know why she's not here. Yeah. That's a poor kid. Well, she's got to stop finding herself in these situations, Henry. Well, it's not her fault. I know I upset her. I wish I hadn't, but, I mean, come on. It's, it's not all on me, you know. No, why would I think that? She's got to take some kind of responsibility herself. I think you're being a little harsh on her, don't you? I mean, it's, it's my fault she had the money. What money? The day's receipts. I should have taken them to the bank like I normally do, and that way she wouldn't have been a sitting duck for the first mugger that came down the pike. She was mugged? Yes, she, I, I thought you said you talked to her. She didn't say she was mugged. Well, what did she say? She's... Nothing. Nothing. She just let me put my big stupid foot in my big stupid mouth. They catch the perp? Ah, uh, they're working on it. Uh, though they said that uh, most of these cases go unsolved. Not this one. I need your help. I thought you'd quit the floor. No, this is for a friend of mine. Listen, do you remember anybody in here last night spending money like it wasn't his? Okay, you know what? I got a lot of time on my hands. I can see myself spending some nights in here, busting kids who are drinking with fake IDs. There was one guy flashing cash, buying rounds. Yeah? You got a name? Lester. Any last name? Do you remember who he was with? Come on, this isn't for the cops. He left with a working girl in the name of Crystal. Crystal, right. Thanks. I owe you one. I'm looking for Crystal. Uh, do you know the lady's last name? I think we both know which Crystal I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You're going to have to be a little more specific. Aiding and abetting prostitution specific enough for you? I'm not a cop, OK? And I don't want to get them involved. I'm just looking for a friend. And I have a feeling that he was with Crystal last night. And I just want to ask her where he is. Look, I'm sorry, sir, but we don't get up the name. Listen to me. We can do this the easy way. But we can do this a hard way. It's your choice. Room 1019. Thank you very much. You have a key for me? Yeah. That way. 
was easy, wasn't it? I don't do freebies. Oh, come on, baby. All the cash I laid on you last night? Was for last night. What? Hey, Lester. Who the hell are you? Is that his name? Yeah. Hey, what is this? <laughs> I don't like what you did to that woman in Old Town last night. I don't know what you're talking about. This guy is crazy. Shut up. Shut up, Mister. That's much better. Thank you. This guy have any pants? Yeah. Thank you. Put these on. Now. You give me that ring? Yeah. Take it. Take it. It's evidence of a crime. I had no idea where he got it. It's okay. I want nothing to do with you. Relax. Hey, let go. Next time I break it. Thanks, Crystal. Yeah. So least brutality. Yeah, yeah, that would be the case, except I'm not a cop. That's it. That's the man who attacked me. And me too. He's practically breaking my arm. This is the guy who mugged Janet Ciccone in Old Town last night. Yeah, and what the hell does that have to do with you? He's lying. I was at Yo's the whole night. I got witnesses. No, he was there. All right. He was buying drinks for the house and picking up a hooker all on Henry's tab. He gave her Janet's ring. That's Dennis. her word against mine. Mine is. I never saw it before. Why didn't you bring this to us, Jack? Because I know if I didn't act fast, he'd be out of here. What, so you manhandled the desk clerk, broke into a room, and abducted a guest? Right? I'm pressing charges. You know, somebody get this guy out of here before I hit him myself. Hey, hey what, what charges? And make sure you read him his rights. I'm suing this city. I, I'm witnessing. What am I supposed to do with you, Jack? He mugged Janet, okay? And he took off with a day's take from Al's diner. Here, here's a ring. You got a name on the woman he gave it to? But this doesn't matter. She's a it witness. It has nothing to do with this, Dallas. Oh, 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 you're the DA, too? Well, then I hope he can find a shred of a case left after you stomped all over it, because I can't. You know, the DA will probably want to indict you, too. What, for doing oh, oh, uh, your job? It's not your job, Jack. It's mine. Give me an hour. What? You sit on him and I will bring you a case, Dallas. No, don't do this. One hour. One hour, man. So we're going to open a PI firm after I lose my job, too? Sounds like a plan. Look, I'll give you an hour. All right, but then I release him and I get a warrant out for you. Uh, I'm sorry, my station is full. Uh, Henry, would you take this new customer, please? I didn't come here for the food. I came for you. I need you, Janet. We have nothing to talk about. Henry told me what happened. I, I tried to tell you when you came in. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It does. It does matter. I was wrong. Gee, for an ex-cop, you sure don't let the facts get in the way of your opinions. Hey, listen, I'm trying to apologize here. Apology accepted. Got to get back to work. What? If you don't go with me right now, I'm going to jail. Why? I'll tell you on the way, please. Oh, come on, Janet, this is something you do for a total stranger. Go, go. But I want all the dirty details when you get back. I don't understand what I'm doing here. <gasps> That's the guy! That's the idiot that mugged me and stole Henry's money! I never saw this bait in my life. Oh, you are full of... Whoa, 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 right? Oh, hey, full of... Ah, you want a deposit of ID? Yeah, that works. Good job. You ever think about getting into police work? I thought we were going to be privatized together. Look, I'm serious, Jack. Come back to work. That's what I said. Cool. All right, then all you need to do is sign it and testify if it ever gets to court. You don't think it will? Honestly, I think any lawyer he gets will advise him to plead out. But Henry's going to get his money back, yeah, yeah, though, right? Yeah, whatever's left of it, yeah. Once we don't need it forever. Oh, good. All right. Now, as for you going all vigilante... I know, I know. I, I saw what you did to Janet and I lost it. Yeah, I get that. But the right move was to come to me. Well, maybe someday I'll learn what the right move is before it's explained to me. No, you won't. Probably not. <laughs> but seriously, Jack, look, you need to figure out if you're a cop or not, okay? Thanks for coming for me. You're welcome. Well, I better get back to Al's. Tell Henry he's gonna get his money back. Why don't you call him? I'll be right home. You don't have to do that. I know. Can I, uh, can I get you something? Some food, drink? No, I'm good. Well, thanks for bringing me home, and, and thanks for catching the bad guy. Why didn't you tell me you were mugged? You didn't give me a chance. No, I mean last night when it happened. 
I should have been the first person you called. I don't know. I, I was... I had a meltdown with Carly, and then I had this big lot of cash in my hand, and I just wasn't paying Listen, attention. You didn't, do any, you didn't do anything wrong. If anybody screwed up, it was me, jumping to such stupid conclusions. Why shouldn't you? When do I ever get anything right? You did with me. I'm the one who got it wrong. And when Henry told me you were mugged, I realized what... what I had done. And I just, I went off, and I almost did some really stupid, stupid things that I could not do. But you caught him. Yeah, the wrong way, trying to make him pay for my mistake. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, that guy deserved whatever it is that oh. you did to him. <laughs> Does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah. Is that better? A little. Mm. How's that? Well, the truth is, it hurts all over. Mm.